I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but... distant. I worry that my background and... my actions... concern them. I have not shared much, but... Everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to... imagine... or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Of course, you have given me an opportunity the others have not. Perhaps I just need more time. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Thank you. That is reassuring. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. at all surprised that the UC has such a massive space dedicated to secrets. Unsealing access. You may proceed down the corridor. But there are no additional visitors permitted. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. Very well, I will wait. You go on.
But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy, lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Ah, uh, there's a reason for that. Introductions first, though. I'm Francois Fanon, but most know me as Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here, a sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. <laughs> Captain, please. There are no clean hands in galactic politics. We all do what we must to keep ourselves safe. Which, right now, means finding a way to protect the United Colonies and beyond from additional Terramorph attacks. An effort you and my progeny, Hadrian, have already made impressive progress on. And I'd like to help, though I am curious. Has she shared with you the nature of our... little family? Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been... a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are, but in exchange, I need something dealt with. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man.
What did you need? I will watch your back. Captain, did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? Short of jailing you? No. You're right. But in this moment, I think it would be a big mistake to tell her. Though I presume he didn't call you down there simply to discuss his daughter. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question, but bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Pardon. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Ship's clear and the sky is calling to us. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady.
Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Think you got some bad information. If there was a wanted man in our skies, he wouldn't still be out there. Unless... Are you talking about the Warlock? There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it, and at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. Good hunting. And stay safe. I am, hands down, the best pilot in this dump. How may the... If there's anything I can do for you, please, say the word. Yes, of course. Any adventure you can fly away from is... The ship's no longer docked. We're free.
almost grab Jack. Yes! <laughs> grab drive back online.
significant temperature changes here. We should be careful of overexerting ourselves. still in one piece. is but a shadow of its former purpose. I do not like it here. I will not aid you in this.
Grab this is United Colony Spring. is but a shadow of its former purpose. I do not like it here. If there's anything... Good to see you. Certainly. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Sure, the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser, 
You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xenoweapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. A military Model A, yes. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource, if you can recover him. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal.